Hello everybody, my name is Iceface. Today I'm going to be running some Abyss in the Purifier and I'm going to be discussing how appearance, uh, in my opinion, matters a lot when choosing ships. And I'm wondering uh, if you guys could answer this question in the comment section. That is, when you guys choose to use a ship in EVE Online, do you consider how it looks or do you just buy any ship? Uh, as long as it's efficient, you'll just use it. You absolutely do not care about the uh, appearance. Or does the appearance for you matter in your decision of choosing a ship? Anyway, let's get into it. So I'm going to be running some Calm Electricals. If you've watched the other video I've done for uh, Abyssals in a Stealth Bomber, the Calm ones are the ones which the Purifier can handle comfortably. The T2s are very risky. The, the Vela waves always get them. We've got this trusty armor pair here. And we've got also some small cap batteries for some neutral resistance. I'm doing sick DPS right now, 420, 520 DPS. There's some good stuff. All right, let's go in. And we're also going to be pretty damn fast. So let's see now. First wave, Charybdis Tyrannus. Very easy. Right. Come on. Okay, go forward. Lock him up. Shoot the torpedoes on. We took a bit of damage there, but it's all right. We're going really fast. Get a bit of uh, reps going. So this will just be an easy, easy wave. Uh, the Charybdis just dies almost straight away to these torpedoes. They applied this so damn good in a orbit now here. Just split this a little bit. Use one of these in here. Use the rest on Charybdis. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to discuss how ships' uh, appearance, for me at least, is a very important factor uh, when I buy ships. Uh, for example, this purifier right here, I think this is, in my opinion, one of the best looking ships in the game. So what I'm doing right now is I'm running T1 Abyss. T1 Abyss is uh, not that uh, profitable. I, will, I mean, uh, in a frigate, it can earn still some isk, about like, I think it was about 50 million an hour, or maybe 40. So it's not that great, but at least it's something. But... The thing is, I can do much more efficient uh, stuff. I could run uh, cruisers, or I could run like uh, retributions. But I like the purifier because it just looks so good, and that's why I'm uh, just now running these uh, T1 electricals. I find it it's interesting to do, you like uh, be able to do something productive. So we're get earning ISK now with and doing something interesting, which is like running the abyss in a ship you thought find interesting. Because there's some ships in the game which completely like look really good, but have absolutely no function. For example, the Enforcer. It, I mean, the Purifier still is pretty crap. The Enforcer can still do quite a bit of abyss, but uh, that is even to a large degree. The Enforcer is a for you guys who don't know, is a Concorde cruiser, and it really it's just sucks in the abyss because of its damage application. Oh, it's, it's da damage is just so low, um, and it costs just so much. The purifier doesn't cost that much, but uh, the, and the enforcer just looks just so good. So I, I mean, I wish the enforcer could be used for more things. I've actually tried d d using the enforcer in the abyss, and it's uh, it, it, you know, it struggles with T threes. I mean, it can do T threes, but it struggles. T fours out of the question. At least if you don't use bling fits. Um, so I mean this this purifier I just think it looks sort of like a nice or compact frigate and I really love using the skin on it. For me skins are really important when they're playing EVE Online. I really like having like a cool skin for my ship. I can actually spend a lot of money on ships uh, I will, uh, more than I'm too uh, that I, I feel comfortable with admitting. Well actually I will admit. So I mean I, I bought once a skin for like a few hundred million so for a Drake, I used uh, about 250 million to get an Agrista skin. Quite a lot just for a little of skin. But for me to have an aesthetically pleasing ship, that means a lot. It means makes me I enjoy just just looking at it. When you're looking at your ship all the time, I know there's a lot of people that like to run the game in like basically potato graphics mode. So they put like really crap graphics because it runs fast. But I always like to at least have some some. Uh, appearance that I can see and now I'm taking a bit of damage because I was staying still there but we're all right just getting out of range now wrecking this drone over here yeah and the etheric rages skin I use for the gila is uh, a skin I really love as well it costed uh, I got it very cheap actually the etheric rages skin of the gila is um, it came out with the uh, can show you here 
the skin it came, uh, it came out with this like test for this new kind of server system uh and uh, everyone who was doing this like uh, running the test got these sh uh, skins for free and initially when they came out everyone wanted to just sell them or oh, give me my isk give me my isk but now everyone who wanted them you most likely has it so the ones that are left um are quite expensive usually class rogue drone gets some crap loot but it's all right i mean it's all right it's, we're just using a 60 million ship here you get back very quickly from doing this uh, another example of like appearance uh, playing a role is that there's a ship here called a Vagabond. It's a, it's a, um, it's a heavy assault cruiser that is used uh, that can be used in the abyss. It's quite effective and also can be used in a quite cheap fit. But I've never really wanted to use this because I just think this ship looks so horrific. Like it just looks like a stick in my opinion. Okay, we've got some velas here, and I mean, in T2s, we get absolutely annihilated by this this wave, but in T1, this really chill, because there's only two of them, so this, uh, they hardly do any damage. Let's get out of range now. Massive damage right there. Just keep kiting to the side. These drones here are going to do a bit of damage, but it's alright. It's, it's no, 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 no biggie. A couple of armor cycle reps is all we're going to need. Something I wish in EVE Online that they would do more so when we're talking about appearance is that I wish that they had more skins for ships. And like when I mean more skins, I don't mean just like, I, I don't mean them necessarily like making new skins. But I mean that like, um, I mean that I, I wish that we could have more like standard skins. So for example, um, this is a cold iron skin. This is, this is like a kind of like standard skin that exists in all Amar ships. And I think that's really cool. It's like it's a skin that you can get on any Amar ship. But then there are some skins that are like this EOM skin here. This can only be achieved on uh, on certain ships and it annoys me quite a lot. I wish for, that we could get the EOM skins for uh, all ships. It, or as well as one ship, one skin I especially wish we had is the Candid skin here. Uh, this is a black and grey skin. And I wish this existed for all ships because I really like this kind of black and grey colour scheme. It's one of my favourite colour schemes that exist. Uh, I would have loved to use it on the purifier. But the, the cold iron one, which I'm using right now, also looks pretty good. It looks very stealthy. It's like one singular colour, like a stealth bomber should be. But I, I wish they had more uh, standard skins across the board and not just on certain ships. Uh, also something I wish that they would have is that certain skins, for example this EOM one, can't be bought anymore. They're taken out from the store. And this, I know they understand that this creates like a rarity for uh, for um, certain skins, but it annoys me quite a bit because like I was not here, I was not playing while they were selling them. So now, I mean, I had no chance to get it. So now the only thing option I have is to buy it off the market for a really expensive price, like many billions. And that's not enough I would be willing to spend on a, on a simple skin for uh, a, a little frigate. So that was it. That was all my little uh, discussion on how, for me, uh, appearance plays a big role in my ships I use in EVE Online. And an example here is that I like using this purifier for doing Abyss. Uh, let me know if you guys actually uh, consider appearance when buying ships or you purely care about efficiency. Does it play a role when you buy a ship? Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys later.